this is Kiwi for a new tutorial about this fantastic app called Vocalive. And today we'll be talking about how to import a song into Vocalive. But before doing that, um, we have three things to do, three important things to do. These are tips and tricks that will help you saving time, okay? And it's very important to follow. So the first thing you want to do, if your app is launching any... Um, effects here, uh, for example, if you had a chorus effect and a reverb effect, what you want to do is uh, click here in empty. Uh, so here, empty, has to be empty, it's very important. Once you've done that, um, you can click on recorder, okay? And uh, as you can see, Vocal Live is always starting, always launching on um, the last project that you've been working on. And for myself, I was actually working on a song called Candy. So what you want to do is uh, go on New Project, okay, here, and click on it. There's a window opening, and um, you can name uh, your project. So today we're just going to put New Project. Once you're done, just click on Save. And now you can see that your name is written here. So this is very important to do. Okay. Um, third and last thing to do is this track here, we're going to unselect. Okay. Because uh, this is where your mic is. This is where you record. So you want to click on the track number two. Okay. And this blue button clicking has to be on track number two. Okay. It's very important. This is where you're going to record your vocals. Um, the track number one has to be free from anything. And you're going to do the same thing with the effects, okay? So this track will be where you're going to be importing your song. Once you did all these things, you can start importing your song. So click on Song, okay? This is the Vocal Live Player, okay? This is like a music library, okay? Um, as you can see, I've already imported uh, three songs, okay? Um, so if you want to add a song, just click on Add a Song. And you have four options, uh, Wi-Fi, File Sharing, iPod Library, and Cancel. The iPod Library is like the iPad, so click on there, the iPod Library. As you can see, this is all the music I have in my iPad. So these are all the songs that I can import. Um, don't freak out, don't pay attention here. Okay, this is because it's written in French, because I'm French, um, with a very Kiwi accent, I know. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to uh, be important one of my songs um, here, Come Back to Me, Kiwi. Uh, it's uh, one of my songs that I made out of uh, GarageBand. So there's a red cross, just click on it. If your track is like that, okay, if it's uh, like that, that means uh, you've selected and it's ready to be imported. Um, you can select as many songs as you want, 1, 2, 80. When you're ready, just click on OK. And you can see here, your song is being imported from your library into the Vocal Live player. Um, it can take quite a long time sometimes, depending how many songs you're importing. Um, but, um, yeah, you have to be patient. Okay, so our song, Come Back To Me, is in the player. Okay. Just to double check that you've imported the right song, you can click on play here. So that's the right song. And if you want to listen to the song, um, it's uh, available on SoundCloud. So if you want to have a look, um, just uh, just go on SoundCloud. Um, there's a few options here. You can um, you have the volume. If you if your song is too loud, you want to uh, turn it down or up. You have a speed train as well. That's to um, to speed or slow down the song. Okay. It's, uh, it's a very interesting uh, effect here. Um, you have loop A and B. I never use that as well as speed trainer. I don't use that. I reckon this is more if you want to do 
um, DJ stuff, you know. Um, I'm more like a pop songwriter. Anyway, if you want to import a song where there's already vocals, if you want a um, karaoke, if you want a karaoke song, okay, uh, for myself, Come Back To Me is only instrumental part. Uh, but uh, if you want to use a karaoke, just press on No Voice, okay, and Vocalive will automatically delete the vocals on the song. That's a fantastic option. I love that option. Um, so if you're ready with that, okay, just click on to record. And you have uh, three options, track one to four, five to eight, and cancel. I think I have the full version, okay, I've paid for this full version. For the free version, I, only th I think you only have uh, four tracks. But anyway, we're going to click on the track one to four. Okay. And you have track one, two, three, four, and cancel. We're going to click on track one, okay? And the song is, they copying the song to the recorder, from the player to the recorder, to track number one that we freed, okay? If you're not happy with one of the songs or you want to delete a song here in the player, just click on delete, okay? Very simple. To close the window, just press anywhere. Okay, the window closes. So, you've got your music instrumental part on this track number one okay uh, to double check we're going to press play and you can see that the song is playing on the track number one now it's very important to follow all these steps before recording uh, your first song empty all the effects uh, free this track number one this is where your instrumental part will be um, launch the track number two where your vocals will be create a new project and make sure it's written here once you did all that now you can import your song and start recording your first song on vocal live so that's it for today hope you like this video this tutorial about vocal live because there's a lot of things to say about vocal live i decided to do plenty different little videos always talking about vocal life so I invite you to go and have a look and to watch the other tutorials if you're facing any problems if you have any questions um, please let me know write a comment just here and I'll reply and try to help you as much as I can so that's it for today hope you liked it please if you did put a like and don't forget to subscribe Okay, that was Kiwi, a music addict. Be inspired, be creative with Vocal Live and all the other apps. See you in the next video.